hello dear students welcome in this youtube channel today in this video we'll discuss about chapter 12 of class 10 mathematics areas related to circles so this is a circle so first of all let's see what is circle how will we define circle so if you see this these all are points these all are points so circle is made up of points only and these points are at equal distance from the center so we can define circle as circle is the collection of points which are at equal distance from the center okay so next comes that what is a chord so if i join any two points on the circle i'll get a chord suppose i am joining this point and this point i'll get a chord okay this is a chord so chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circle okay so if i join uh, this point and uh, suppose this point so again i'll get a chord but this chord is passing through the center so this is called diameter of the circle so diameter is a chord which is passing through the center or you can say this is the longest chord in the circle okay so next is what is radius if i join the center to any point on the circle i get a radius suppose this is i am joining this point to circle so this is radius this is also radius but this is diameter full okay so diameter is double of radius so now see uh, this is the boundary of the circle you can say perimeter of the circle or circumference of the circle so formula for the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r which you have done in the previous classes now next is this is area so this full where th this plane we can touch here that is called area of the circle okay and its formula is pi r square okay so area of the circle is pi r square and the circumference which is perimeter of the circle is 2 pi r right now next is what is arc so part of the circle is called arc suppose this this part is also arc this part is also arc so there can be many arcs on the circle so part of the circle is called arc of the circle right so this is diameter okay so diameter divide the circle into two parts each part is called semicircle this is semicircle right suppose i have this arc and rest one is this arc so this is minor arc and this will be major arc so the arc which is smaller than the semicircle is called minor arc and the arc whose length is more than the semicircle is called major arc right now suppose i have this area this area this is the area bounded by two radii and corresponding arc this is called sector okay so what is sector sector is the area bounded by two radii and corresponding arc so if it is this area is major uh, this area is bounded by these two arc and minor uh, these two uh, radii and minor arc then it is called minor sector right and this rest one is also a sector see here this is also a sector i'll draw here figure this is sector this is minor sector and what is left this sector this is major sector because this is the area bounded by two radii and major arc and this is the area bounded by two radii and minor arc is called minor sector and this is called major sector right so next come what is the area of the sector how will you find the area of the sector so this angle is suppose theta and uh, this is radius r so how will you find the area of the sector we have a formula area of sector that is theta over 360 into pi r square this is the area for the this is the formula for the area of the sector okay now next is 
वट इज सेगमेंट और डी स्टूडेंट्स आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट इफ एरिया ऑफ माइनर सेक्टर इज दिस सपोज दिस इज सिक्सटी डिग्री एंगल राइट सपोज सो हाउ विल यू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ द मेजर सेक्टर दिस सेक्टर सो वी हैव द टू वेज टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द मेजर सेक्टर इफ वी डू एरिया ऑफ द सर्कल माइनस एरिया ऑफ माइनर सेगमेंट देन वी गेट द एरिया ऑफ द मेजर सेगमेंट right see here major segment is area of the circle minus area of the minor sector and other way is that if this theta is 60 degree then this reflex angle will be 300 because total angles around a point is 360 so if it is 60 then its reflex is 300 so if i take here angle 60 degree then i get the area of minor sector if i take here angle 300 degree i'll get the area of the major sector so here also this way also you can find out the area of the major sector right two ways are there to find the area of the major sector one is area of the circle minus area of the minor segment as uh, minor sector or by taking reflex of this angle here and you can find out the same formula you can apply the same formula okay so this is area of the sector now next is what is a segment so let's understand what is a segment so this is called i told you line segment joining the any two point on the circle is called chord this is chord and uh, this is a triangle okay and you can say this is a this full boundary and this area is called sector which you have done here sector okay so this is called segment okay segment suppose ye circle hai and this is called chord divide the circle into two parts each is called segment so you can define segment as area bounded by a chord and the corresponding arc is called segment if this area is bounded by a chord and minor arc then it is called minor sector segment minor segment and if it is may it is bounded by a chord and corresponding major arc is called major segment right major segment so what is the area of segment area of segment so this is area of sector minus area of this triangle if i do area of this sector minus area of this triangle then i get this shaded area segment only so this is only area of sector that is this formula theta over 360 into pi r square this is area of sector minus area of this triangle so what is the area of this triangle half r square sin theta this is you remember this formula this is the area of the triangle half r square r is radius sin theta theta is this angle so this formula you will apply when you are to find out the area of the segment here suppose it is minor segment so how will you find out the major sector area similarly if you subtract the area of the minor segment from the area of the circle you will get the area of the major segment okay what is major segment this is major segment so if you if you have this area suppose full circle area is 100 suppose right and this minor segment area is suppose uh, uh, 30 then what will be area of major seg segment that will be 70 what i have done area of the circle minus area of the minor segment okay so this way only you can get the area of the major segment also this is major segment okay so next is what is how to find out the length of the arc length of arc suppose um, i need to find out the length of arc uh, suppose in this circle i am taking uh, here this is and uh, i need to find out this is a sector okay so i have theta angle this radius this i need to find out this length of the arc which i have done here darken this length i need to find out so we'll apply the formula theta over 360 into 2 pi r this is the formula for the length of the arc okay these all formula can be derived 
can be derived from unitary method also okay but here in this um, class you can remember these formulas area of sector theta over 360 into pi r square area of segment the, uh, area of the sector minus area of triangle that is theta over 360 into pi r square minus half r square sin theta and a, a length of arc is theta over 360 into 2 pi r 2 pi r is the perimeter of the circle circumference of the circle 